Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. I got these eggs from Joanne Fabric, cut off the string, and filled the holes with wood filler. I then painted one of the eggs with Anita's acrylic paint in the color Hay. After painting the first coat, I decided it looked a little light, so I gave it a second coat and set it aside to dry. For my second egg, I used Anita's acrylic paint in the color violet and painted just the center of the egg. When I finished with that, I moved on to Deco Art Americana paint in the color open water and painted the outer edge of the egg and let that dry. Once the paint on my yellow egg was dry, I used Vaseline and a chip brush and randomly applied Vaseline to the egg. You don't need to let that dry, you just move on to painting your next color, which I used Waverly chalk paint in the color white. I painted the entire egg with the Waverly chalk paint in the color white and set that aside to dry. Next, I moved on to four blocks that I got from the Tumbling Tower game I purchased from the Dollar Tree. I sprayed some water into a plastic bag, poured in some of the Waverly chalk paint, mixed them together, put my blocks in the bag, and moved them around. This method covers the blocks evenly and easily. Then I poured them out onto a paper plate to dry. With the white paint over my yellow egg dry, I took a scraper tool and scraped off all the areas that had Vaseline on them. This gives the egg a chippy look. I love this technique. It's so much fun to do. I love how gorgeous this egg turned out. Now it's time to add a little more distressing to it. I used Waverly Antique Wax and went around the entire egg to give it that distressed look. You guys know me, I love distressing. I also did it to the purple and blue egg as well. Now that my blocks are dry, I used a combination of E6000 and hot glue to create the basis for my eggs. I like using both types of glue. The hot glue gives an instant bond and the E6000 gives a more permanent bond.
If you happen to notice a little seepage of hot glue on your egg, just take an X-Acto knife, cut into the glue, and peel it away. Comes off fairly easy. I made two simple bows out of different colored jute twine, and I glued those to the top of my eggs. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please remember to share and like, and you can always follow my page at Jenny of All Trades. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Stay crafty, and we'll see you soon. Bye.